is a Millennium Falcon with games on it. I got one thing to tell you about that. Just take all my money. No, oh, not this soon, not this soon. Oh! Jack Specific, a company well known for making these plug and play games, also produced merchandise for Star Wars. It makes sense given how popular these were. I never understood who these were truly meant to appeal to. People who didn't know better? This came out in 2006, and the graphics look pre Super Nintendo. What you're looking at here is literally from the same year as Gears of War. Think about that. Hmm, you guys couldn't uh, fit a few more instruments in there? Sounding a bit sparse. Perhaps the console was too small. I mean, to be honest, I don't know how you'd fit more than one trumpet in here, let alone one. First up is lightsaber duel. Oh, no high scores? Well, you telling me people weren't fighting over this thing like the olden samurai trying to be number one? I'm getting too old for this sort of thing. Old for what kind of thing exactly? Fighting your friends? I don't understand. Why is this the default? Obi-Wan and Luke is the first fight? Hey guys, you want to wait to beef this out till after you defeat the Empire? They're still flying around in the background, free as birds! When you eventually do get to fight Vader, he just breathes nonchalantly over your fight. Oh, come on, dude! Don't fight dirty! No fair! Next up, Battle of Endor. Hey, where's that battle at? I just see a bunch of people crashing headlong into trees. Is it the battle against drunk driving? Perhaps the battle is in the distance and we're driving to it. Mm, let's see here. Oh, that's much better. This game is actually reminiscent of another pre-existing game, Return of the Jedi Arcade from back in the 80s. Wonderful. We are now a part of the time. Oh, 3PO, you're just gonna come out and say that? Eventually, you get to a part where you're an ATST walking around shooting everyone. It's pretty great because no one else stands a chance and winning is fun. The third stage is just Falcon stuff, pretty standard. Next on the list, Assault on Hot. Woo! Well, this seems like a lot of work to give to one guy. I'd be pretty stressed out if I were him. Like they couldn't spare one more guy? I guess that Alliance paid free tuition is looking a lot less attractive by the minute, eh buddy? Occasionally a guy flies by and drops off a coin. The coin is great and all, but I would've preferred a little help holding off the onslaught of my inevitable doom. Heyo! How you doing? Here's this shit! See ya! And lastly is Red Leader, which is just a standard shoot 'em up. There also exist prequel versions of these games that came in three stylings. Darth Vader, R2-D2, and General Grievous. These three all have the same games on them, just different casings. Some rarer than others. First up is Coruscant Attack. Yeah, okay, I'm seeing Attack. Not so sure about Coruscant? This game kind of reminds me of the 1982 arcade game Sinistar, if any of you even know what that is. <laughs> Sinistar always freaked me out. I am Sinistar. Run, run, run! I'm going! I'm going! I tell you what, if you threw in a giant Darth Vader head that chased you and yelled catchphrases, you'd have yourself a bona fide winner here. And your destiny lies with me, There's Droid Invasion, which is basically some weird version of Arkanoid. Thrilling. And gunship battle, which is basically just nothing. Uh, just nothing at all, basically. I don't even know how this ship stays in the air. Oh, and excuse me, how could I forget? Utapau chase. The only chase that's gonna be happening here is the one for my money back. Yeah? Okay, what? Huh? Alright, well, that's enough of that now. This one has five games instead of four, the last one being Grievous Onslaught. It's okay. I think you're going around as Anakin, just slashing droids left and right. I assume you're here to save Chancellor Palpatine, like in the film. It's funny, whenever you're about to save the Chancellor, he gets sucked into the floor. Okay, now on to the ones with the peripherals. This one's called Lightsaber Battle Game. How long do you think it took him to come up with that? The way it works is this training droid here, I guess, has infrared sensors or something in it, so you just haphazardly put it on top of something and use the saber to play the game. Now, where is that thing? Oh yeah? Where'd the other half of it go? This thing is so stubby! I think it might have been packaged for the, uh, wrong purpose. You know what I mean. <laughs> oh, you know what I mean. X-Wing docking right this way, Mr. Skywalker, sir! Oh, now this is amazing. I've always wanted to input my name with a lightsaber. Or wait, hold on, I think I actually have done that in the past. It's gonna be a butterfly, right? And that's it, you're mine now, it's over, no take-backs. 
Right off the bat, once again you're training against Obi-Wan. Now listen closely, the tactic you use here is very advanced. What you do is you wait for the poor man's Parkinson's to all-encompassingly overwhelm him, at which point you whack him as hard as you can multiple times before he comes back to reality. I tried this tactic on my grandpops to get him to stop drinking and throwing stuff, but all he did was scream. You know, surprisingly, this is pretty fun. Although, it probably feels a lot cooler in my head than how it actually looks. But who cares, right? Fun is fun! I'm real! This next one is called Star Wars Clone Trooper. This one is a rail shooter type game. It comes with this gun. Alright, so you calibrate your gun, let it know if you're satisfied, and presto, begin! Plan on picking up the pace? Get this, the first loading screen when you boot the thing up takes 50 seconds alone. Doesn't that somewhat diminish the plug-and-play aspect? Well, after all this loading, I better be blown away with some serious stuff. Is that it, then? What exactly were you loading all that time? This looks like it predates the transistor radio! It's okay, though. Everyone knows this game was meant to honor the life of legendary actor Christopher Lee, as seen here pictured on his cosmic Vespa. And now, sir, I give you the 21 Blaster Salute. Rest in peace, you legend. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, sorry, dude, I'm not trying to... Oops, oh, God damn it! I'm trying to salute you. My aim's really off. I'm sorry, this is out of love. All right, we got one left. I'm not expecting much after all this. The whole thing is just contained in this cockpit joystick. No sensor bar or anything. Whoa! What? It's not terrible? Hey, cool. Color me impressed. This is probably the best plug-and-play game I've ever played. Responsive, fluid, and the graphics are in full 3D. I'm surprised this little thing is powering all that. I guess the age-old adage is true after all. The greatest surprises come in the smallest and most unassuming of packages. But hey, at least I have a good personality. This reminds me, I've been meaning to plug and play myself for a while now. This one. It's terrible. The first 18 levels are easy and then mom and dad stop caring. <laughs>